YouTube, this is your girl Windfire69 coming to you with another video. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. Me and Patch is here today to to uh, show your reveal, review uh, my Coach Argo bag and a Tory Burch reveal as well. And I think a Louis Vuitton reveal too. But first, I want to thank all my subscribers, new and old, for subscribing to my channel. Please leave your comments at the comment section. Give me a thumbs up. Click the notification bell. That will give you notification every time I come out with a video. You guys follow me on Instagram at winfire69k. Follow my two amazing client advisors, uh, Tiffany at LV underscore Tiffany underscore SF. She works out of the Bloomingdale store, San Francisco, Louis Vuitton. Also, uh, Sunny at Vittenize underscore me 81. She works at the Fifth Avenue Maison store. Also, follow my friend Lisa at Lisa Loves Bags and my niece, Logan Michaela on YouTube. Okay, so I'm putting out these videos because I know after a while I'm going to have a dry spell. Um, or I'm not going to want to do videos. Um, so I had did a previous video about my hair care or my hair journey with, with Rogaine. Um, so, yeah, it was um, something that was kind of on the spur of the moment, per se, to say, you know, let me put a video out, not about luxury, but just about, you know, your hair, you know. Just a couple of words and then I'll move on. Um, I was never a hair person. Never a hair person, even growing up. I didn't like to comb my hair. And I had a lot of hair, a lot of thick hair. I, did, I didn't like to comb my hair. I didn't like to wash my hair. I was just that person that I wasn't a hair person. Um, and as I grew up, I still wasn't a hair person. And I think that comes from my mom because... My mom is not a hair person. My mom has, um, I'm not going to say good hair, but my mom's quality hair is totally different from mine. So, and my mother worked in the food service industry. Um, so she always had to have her hair in one, like how I have my hair in one. She always had to have it in one. So she washed it but she never styled it and like that because she was consistently working and consistently had to have that same style push back in one with a bun that's my mom's mo and i think i kind of uh gravitated to that or i mean i had a couple of styles here and there but for the most part i would always have my hair in one because of my mom you know so, um, hair wasn't something that I'm going to the hairdresser every week or every other week, or I'm getting a perm every four weeks. I would get a perm every two months. That's me. <laughs> you know, I wasn't a hair person like that. So when I came out with that road game video, you know, um, I just wanted to put that out there. You know, people always say good hair. What the hell is good hair? Is it quality hair? Because you can have good quality hair and still got a damn bald spot on top of your head. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, I always think good quality, I always think good hair is the strength, the thickness. You know, I always thought that. I'm sorry, Patch just jumped off the table. That's why I was shaking. But I always thought that that was what good hair was. You know, not the texture like 4c3 some 3a or you know whatever i you know i don't know maybe it's just me and i come from a different era so that's also because i know people used to wear afros and afros was like the movement you know what i'm saying so people wasn't even thinking about hair they were thinking about you know i'm wearing my afro that's my culture that's the movement you know so I don't know when all of this had shifted into what good hair is because 
I don't even look at texture, good texture, like different texture as good hair, you know? You can have straight hair and still have a bald spot, you know? So, um, yeah, so, but that's it. That's enough of me talking about that. Let me first do um, two reveals, two Louis Vuitton reveals. So, I had asked my friend to get this, and I had this a couple of months. This particular item I had a couple of months. It came from the men's line, and I have the reason why I got it because I have the other part to it. So let me show you. This is the Damier Graffite um, scarf from the men's line, and I asked her to get this for me because I got the hat. I had the hat from I think might be we'll say almost two years ago, maybe two years. I got the hat and I never got the scarf because I said, well, I could use a black scarf. But then after I realized I want the scarf as well. Again, this is, I mean, women can wear this too, in a sense, because it's not that masculine. And this is the Damier Graffite Petite, or Petite, uh, uh, Petite. This is, that's what this one is because the hat isn't as big. So it, I think it comes in black. It comes in a light blue. It comes in a gray. And I think it comes in another, another color. And then this is the scarf to it because I wanted it to match. So I'm kind of happy with that. Let me give you the skewed number. I'm sorry. This is the skewed number for it. M70028. And this is the and this is actually the petite as well. Yep, this is the petite scarf. It's not as long. And yeah, see, it's not as long. And I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And then the hat for my head. Okay. Yeah. So I got that and she was able to get it for me. So I was kind of happy with that. And it's it's not it's wool, but I think it's wool mixed with something else. So it's not as itchy, you know, it's not itchy at all, actually. So, you know, I'm always with a good hat and scarf. So and and again, I got this like a couple of months ago. Honestly, I got this a couple of months ago and I'm just showing it now because I just realized that I I had it in my possession and I didn't think I did a video showing you guys this. So. This is this here, okay? All right, and my next item I wanna show you guys, well, ladies and gentlemen, is the 200th anniversary, um, let me see, 200th anniversary of the Louis Vuitton. This is the Banjo Comics Banjo. I don't know why they call it comics, because it's not that comical, it's just, I think maybe, the wording might be so this is it here and I got this my friend was able to get this for me and it is a we'll say like a light brownish color here and then it has the black and red well it has the black with on with the red LVs on it and I'll give you the skewed number on this one as well I, I haven't had a bando, honestly. This is like the first bando I got in a couple of years. I had stopped buying bandos because I, I wasn't using them to that extent and they was just piling up. I actually sold two. I sold the racing ones, if I'm not mistaken. I sold two of those racing, the racing ones, and those were the BB bandos. Um, yeah, I, this is the first bando I got in a good two, three years, really. Let me give you the skewed number. And, you know, my friend asked me if I was interested in it. And the only reason why I got this one, because this is really the... Um, a comm commemorative one, the 200 year anniversary of Louis Vuitton. And this is why I got it. Cause I wasn't even thinking about a bandeau again. So let me show you, let me give you the skewed number on this here. That's, this is M76, 
970 and I don't know how much it cost. I don't know the price on it. Ugh. Might be two something, 210. I think the last bandeau I bought was like 180. Yeah, that's the last bandeau I bought. So this is this one here. And what else? Oh, wanted to show you. Uh, and I got this like about a month and a half ago. Oh, watch it, Bubba. Okay. So I was looking out there on Tory Burch's website. Bubba, you're shaking the table. Um, Tory Burch's website, and I got a pair of shoes. I said I would never buy a pair of shoes from Tory Burch again. I got so many shoes, but I always wanted these. And I just didn't want to spend that money because they were very expensive. I thought, or I think, or I know that they were very expensive. So I didn't want to buy them. I don't know. I just didn't want to buy them. I'm just cheap like that, especially when I have a lot of other Tory Burch shoes. I would not be, I would not be getting that. Uh-uh. Hold on. Let me get this fly out the way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta get him, I gotta get him, I gotta get him. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about that. It was a mosquito. Ooh. I mean, yeah, so I thought it was a fly, but when I look, it was actually a mosquito. Yeah, so, you know, I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. So, and it was on sale, so that's why I kind of jumped on it and... I still spent a little bit more than I should have. However, it's okay. All right. Because I'm not buying Tory Burch shoes left and right. It came with this bag. And you guys, when you see this bag and it's a pair of shoes, you got to know really what it is. I'm pretty sure. So that. And I got the Millie Flats. Travel Flats. And I'm like into travel flats right now. I don't travel, but I'm just into them like that. So I got these and this is in like a soft crocodile embossed. It's not true crocodile, but it's, you know, it's embossed in that. And yeah, so let me give you the skew number and I'll tell you how much I paid for it. Okay, so this is the skew number, if you guys can see. And it's in a size 9. And I got it because I got the Teaks. And I also got the Yoshi ones. And, yeah. So, the reason why I got it is because, see? And then I can put this in. It comes with a little bag, like this little bag here. And I can travel with it. Um... Like, I'm really, when I travel, now, I haven't traveled in a while, but when I travel, and if it's just me and my mom, we use one bag, one suitcase. We don't travel with a whole bunch of stuff, just one suitcase. We kind of like, it's just too much for us to have all these bags when our clothes can like be folded up, rolled up, and stuffed in a bag. So we always use like one. So we use like the uh, Eddie Bauer, the Eddie Bauer tall roll soft one. We use that one and we just all put our stuff in that and that's that one bag. Because again, like you guys know, my mom suffers with Parkinson's. So mobility is an issue for her. So she's always... Anytime we travel on the plane, she's always in a wheelchair. She can't walk that distance. And for me to be walking with all these heap of bags makes no sense. So what I do is I'll just put all our, all of our clothes in one bag. And that's how we move around this earth, <laughs> really. So I wanted to get something like this. So I can kind of like put it in and stuff it in the side and still, you know, or whatever. So... Yeah, so I got this here. And these are the mini uh, travel ballet flats. Okay, and they're foldable and they have the the um, pouch for it. Just like the Teaks have the pouch. Okay, 
my last thing I want to show you guys is I think yeah is what I was cat what I've been carrying and I'm going to kind of review this with you guys and so this is the Ergo 33 in the black from Coach and I have my little charm and it goes so perfect with it however the background of it is blue but you would never know that so but it's okay okay so yeah so i've been carrying this and i'm not gonna lie i love it i love this bag okay so my let me show you what can fit in it because and still have more room for it for more stuff um, okay so let me just show you so it is it the seams is down the middle and it, it's joined and then it has the at the bottom it has the strap that's adjustable with the buckle it has a key ring type thing you see right here with the tag and then i put my my bag charm there when you open it up it is very spacious inside it is Oop, i don't know if i can show you that so let me tell you what I can fit in here. My um, toiletry 15, I think, or 18 or something like that. I have my wallet, my long wallet. I have some masks, my charger. I know I'm a mess, my charger. I have my, my ID, my change purse, and my pen that my friend Lisa gave me. Hey, Lisa. My Schwarzsky pen. And I have some change and dollar bills and my headset. And that's it. That's, and then you can still put more in it. Okay? So that's that. So I am. I don't know if you guys are kind of into coach like that. I'm definitely into coach. Hopefully, they will come out with a another set of Ergo bag, uh, Ergo 33 bags, because I need to have one in like a gray color or a burgundy color, you know. Cause I already have a red bag and I already have this in green. So just like a gray or a burgundy or burdo, a burdo bag, you know? Yeah. So yeah. So I think that is it for right now. I've been out here too long. So I want everyone to enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Stay blessed. Be safe until next time. Bye.